All right. Hello, everybody. It is Monday at 3 p.m. Uh, Arizona time. And I am hoping I have sound. I hope that um, the internet connection is awesome today because it is super windy here in uh, Yuma, Arizona. It's like um, sandstorm. I can't even see the mountains off in the distance. So um, if you could let me know that you're here, I would appreciate it, whether it's a um, like or actually, yeah, well, yeah, you can give me a thumbs up on YouTube, um, but a comment would be awesome so I can see that you're here. I am uh, super excited to be here today live with you guys. A um, couple of announcements to make. So let's go ahead and I'm going to talk a little bit about the designer series paper. Still on sale. Um, hello, Lola. Thank you so much for being here and letting me know that I am, uh, that you can hear me. That's awesome. And Yolanda, thank you so much for being here. Um, okay, designer series paper, the whole month of June, it's going to be on sale. And um, I'm going to be using some paper that's on sale this for this project. Hello, Margaret. I'm so happy you're here and that you could, um, well, one, find me and that I can see that you're here because I know that was an issue. Um, so yay, that makes me happy. Um, so designer series paper in June, um, there's, what did I tell you last time? Uh, six, 11, there's 11 different papers that are on sale. Um, a couple of them, well, more than a couple, you've seen me, uh, show you projects either here, um, demonstrating live or just posting and, you know, designer series paper. I love it. Um, I think as crafters, we all love it. That's, we got to learn how to chop it up and use it and share it with everybody else. So um, that is going on through the 10th. You can still sign up for paper pumpkin for um, the month of June. I always get confu confused with the calendar months because we're like, you have to order it and then they ship it. It's a whole thing. But um, June's, whoa, that was a little crazy. June's paper pumpkin coordinates with one of the papers that is on sale. Isn't that cool? So the blue countryside, you guys have seen me use it lots and lots of times, um, but it coordinates with that paper. The whole suite, really, I believe. But So that's awesome. Um, I am going to be doing something for the very first time this summer, and you guys are going to get to benefit from it. So yay you. Oh, Henry's watching too. Yay. Hi, Henry. Um, I'm glad you're feeling better. So this summer um, for June and July, I'm going to be doing a promotion, just me, a uh, sweet summer special. So sweet summer special. What is that? Well, you guys are going to earn tokens and then on uh, July 31st, I'm going to be drawing for some prizes. So then you guys get to win some prizes. So how do you earn tokens? Um, you earn a, earn a token for every $50 order that you place through me. Um, if you attend a class in person, so here in the Crafting Casita or online. So that's going to lead me into another um, topic after I finish this. Um, and or if you bring a friend to me that's new so you can earn a token that way so spend fifty dollars you get one token spend a hundred dollars you get two tokens um, i'm going to collect those and if you've already placed an order with me in june i've already got you covered so don't worry about that but um yeah so i think it'll be fun we're going to collect not we i am going to be collecting the tokens writing your name um on the entries and then in July, we uh, will be doing one of these and I'll be drawing names and prizes and it's going to be a lot of fun. So look for an email um, probably tomorrow. 
Um, I'm working on it and I've got a, an appointment after this. So but look for an email tomorrow morning from me with all the details. And one of those details is going to be that in July, I'm going to be doing a um, online card class. So in the past, my friend Diane and, and I have collaborated and um, we've done Zoom classes where we send you guys packets and we create together. So that's what we're going to do. So July 1st is the Zoom. Um, you must RSVP by June 17th. All of this information will be in the email. Um, and today I'm going to show you some of the product that you guys um, will receive with the class. So what you're going to get, you're going to get a whole pack of paper, a whole pack of bling and ribbon. We know what paper, we know what bling, and we're deciding on the ribbon because we're deciding what do each of us have. So it might be a surprise. Um, but so let's see, we are done with this and I'm going to make this desk big now so that you guys can see. Um, well, one, I will show you this again. So the sweet summer special, earn a token, order, attend a class, bring a friend that's new to me. Okay. Easy peasy, right? Um, in the, the card class, and I'm calling it um, Crafting with Jennifer and Diana, it's, there's a link on the Facebook um, page. You just have to RSVP. Like I said, class is $35. This is the pack of paper that we're using and that you will be receiving in the mail from me. You will also be receiving six card kits. So I'm designing three, Diana's designing three. But let me show you this paper. I can't remember if I've showed you before online. But this is the, oops, the bright and beautiful. It's six by six. It is bright and it's super pretty. Um, I've used it quite a lot actually for different projects. And lots and lots of bright colors, so. Pretty. So you're going to get a whole pack of that. You're going to get a whole pack of um, the Glossy Dots assortment. Like I said, a whole pack. I've been using mine, so it's not a whole pack. Um, and it is going to... So the way that this um, product-based class works is that I send you the card kits and the product. If you want to add the um, stamp set and the bundle, then that's extra. The stamp set and bundle we are using um, is the circle saying bundle. So I'm going to be making a card with that today. And this guy right here, I've been using it a lot because I love it. Um, but we're going to be using that and that's um, like I said, if you want the, the bundle, it's extra and you add it on. Um, and if you don't want the bundle, then you can use stamps that you already have. We will be supplying the cardstock, the die cuts, that kind of stuff for you to create the cards. And then you just use whatever stamps that you guys have on hand. So it's up to you. But I love this bundle. Okay. So like I said, look for an email tomorrow morning. Um, if I missed any of the details, if you have any questions, let me know. But that is going to be online July 1st. Um, we haven't talked about recording it. So you could watch later. I'll have to ask her about that. Okay. So, oops, I'm giving you a peek already. So this is the card that we're going to create today. Um... I love this wave. I love it. This is the envelope. I think the envelope's super cool because it <laughs> that circle fits right on the back, right? Okay. So we are going to start with Knight of Navy. And lots of little pieces because I just started layering things. Okay. So our card base, traditional card base, we're going to fold this guy in half. Knight of Navy. Some of the ink that we're going to be using is. I think more. Okay. 
we're going to be creating this um, blend here by using the blend the blending brushes okay and then we're going to run it through with an embossing folder so what we're going to do is start with the blending okay Oops. now the blending brushes I've been very gentle with my blending brushes and today I went a little bit harder. You can really kind of push down on these and get lots of ink on here. You always want to start off your project because otherwise you're going to get a very distinct mark. Okay. And I want to go a little bit darker on top and then lighter on the bottom. Oops, put this more in the middle. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, that's good. We're going to use the um, Azure Afternoon and we're going to, we're actually going to start, well, let's, this one I'm going to go light. So my sample, I use Pool Party down here, but I didn't bring Pool Party up here. So we're going to go pretty light. We're going to rub some off very light because I want it darker in the middle and there we go. right we can always go um, darker but we can't take color off and I just got my thumb in the ink <clears throat> okay now I really want to go darker in the metal strip here so Ooh, that almost has like the the foam wave right there. Oops, I'm pointing like you can you see way over here? No, you can't. It has to be under the camera. That almost has like the little foam wave effect on it. Ooh, I am loving that. Okay, and a little bit more color down here. There we go. And you just kind of have to play with it. See what you like, what you don't like. Okay, now. So, oh, I should tell you that uh, this is, and then we have this one, and it's going to be for the inside. And we're doing crumb cake on the inside, down on the bottom. And we're doing this just so I can get all the blending brushes stuff work done. So, I'm just, what I'm really trying to do here is kind of, create the look of sand but I want it super light and it um because this is the inside so I don't want it too dark Let's see. there we go and I want it to go up the sides a little bit and I'm going to show you why So, yeah, I think that's good. That'll work. Okay. So, I think we're done with our blending. We are done with our blending brushes. Okay. Um, now, we're going to stamp and use some blends. So, we're using the blending brushes and the blends. <coughs> Hold on one second. Sorry guys, super windy here. That just means sand is blowing all over the place. Um, okay. Oof. I may have to get um, some baby wipes. That was a lot of ink on the fingers. OK. 
Okay, we're going to ink this up. We're going to be using the sun and the wave stamp. We're inking it up with memento. Why are we inking it up with memento? Because we're going to use blends and we're going to color. So this is like a three by three piece of paper. We're going to um, punch it out. But I took a handful of just different colors. Um, yellows. So, actually, this one's so saffron. Did we get rid of so saffron? Is this a, a uh, is this a retired color? I think it is. <clears throat> That's okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm taking the marker tip and I'm just highlighting some of these lines to just get a darker streak through there. Not all of them, just some of them. Okay. And then I'm going to take the lighter color and this one I will um, use the paintbrush tip. I don't know if that's a technical term for them, but that's what I call them. And I'm just going to go all the way around the sun um, like the sun ray part, just kind of staying within that circle there. Okay. And I actually, um, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like where's the sun ray stop? Probably depends on how you're looking at them, right guys? And we're going to use the Daffodil Delight, which is the dark color that we're using for the yellow. And we are going to color in that whole sun. Because this is a bright, sunny day at the beach. All right, you guys let me know. Do you like using the blends? Are you afraid of the blends? I'm not really doing any shading here except for the highlighting. Okay. Now the blue, I'm doing the same thing, but I'm taking um, lots of different colors. Ooh, I'm making a mess today. Look, I got a blue on my finger, on my hand. Um, I am highlighting just randomly like certain lines. Uh, Yolanda asked, Memento ink is good for blending. Yes, so Mem Memento ink, um, it will not bleed. So if you use the regular Stampin' Up stamp pads, like color, like if you were to use this stamp pad, and then you run um, a blend over it, um, it will bleed. It'll pick up the color and drag it. And so the memento does not do that. But you're stuck with the black um, stamped image, right? So there are times where you can, where using the um, regular, the, the stamp pad, the Stampin' Up stamp pad would work you just have to be careful it kind of depends on what you're doing so lola says that she uses the blends a lot and love that they blend i know it makes it so fun i think i've said this before but blends kind of make me feel like an artist <laughs> i don't know which ones i've used already okay we're gonna go in here and make these little the white it's probably the white foam right of the wave. So fun fact about me, my whole life, except for th three years and then now, I've lived within five miles of an ocean. Not here in Yuma, Arizona, but um, you know, let me see. Yeah, so the white foam we're doing with our very lightest. This is light pool party. 
and we are coloring all that in. And then I'm going to use the light Tahitian Tide to do the wave part. I might go in and use a different color on that line back there. Like so. <laughs> right? Like you have talent. Like it looks, I, f I do. I feel like an artist. I feel, I, it makes me feel beyond my kindergarten coloring years, right? So we're just kind of trying to keep that circle. Probably could use the brush tip for this. It would have gone a little faster. But I do see. I want to take some darker color and highlight a little bit more. And by highlight, I mean I'm just doing the lines like so, giving it a little bit more. There we go. And you can even go over again and it will change color. So I got to make this one a little bit darker, make that one a little bit darker. And that's the good thing about the blends is that it, it is picking up color and blending, hence the name, right? <laughs> okay. So I think that's good. Um, on my sample card, I'm not going to go get it, but I use the wink of Stella. I don't know if you can see the shiny, but the little the white foam part, I put wink of Stella so it sparkles a little bit. Okay. So in the bundle of the circle sayings, it's the stamp set and this punch, which is a two and three eight circle punch. So we're gonna be cutting out with that. Like so. Oops. And then also um, the, do I have them here? Yes, I do. The stylish shape dies. The second largest circle is what I use to cut this guy out. And so it layers very nicely with the punch. So there's that. So adhesive adhesive we need adhesive okay i will tell you guys that um the upcoming mondays some of them are not going to be live because i'm going to be traveling so um um brian and i are, are, are headed to his summer job so um but there will be a video at 3 p.m. either posted or once I get things straightened out, I'll be live. So it won't take me that long because I've been uh, looking and learning and stuff. Okay. Oh, I forgot. We're going to do this through the machine. So let's see. The um, painted texture. I love this die. It's really versatile. You can use it for, I mean, it's not ocean themed, but it kind of looks like waves as they're crashing. <laughs> so I thought this one just worked well. Let's see. I need my big, Right, so this is a three, this is a big thick embossing folder. So all you need is the platform, which you can see right there. And then you need the black or gray um, topper, the number four, to run this through. And that's the only two pieces you need. Feel a sneeze coming on. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Hopefully. Let's see. 
Okay. We are going to um, assemble the card. So we have our basic card base, our Knight of Navy, right? And then I took a piece of that designer series paper that is coming, uh, the bright and beautiful. So there's one side and there's this side. And then I'm going to layer it. I'll show you. This um, is three and a half by four and three quarters. It's a, it's bigger than, I mean, not bigger. It's smaller than the sample. Um, I just wanted you to see a little bit more of the designer series paper. Okay, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna layer like so. We're gonna need some dimensionals. Um, let's see, I guess we'll cut these guys up. Where are my scissors? There we go. We're gonna cut up our edges. Do you guys have a certain way that you cut up the edges? Do they have to be like all the right, the same size or is it just random? I'm very random. <laughs> I have no rhyme or reason when I cut these guys up. Okay. So we're gonna pull these guys up. We're gonna put this in the middle. Let's see. Like so. So crazy how much I love that the stamped image. Okay, there's that. Now for the greeting, let's just put this on. So it stops moving around. Let me put this guy on. And for this card, we're actually going to do the inside. Because that's what I thought I came up with. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, okay. We need... The word smile. And I don't need that white piece. I'm so used to stamping on white. But... Um... Lola said that she likes to use the edges for long rectangular pieces. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's a good tip. Okay. So we're going to use the Azure Afternoon, which is a new Stampin' Up! color. It's blue, gorgeous, bright. And we're going to stamp the word smile on a little tiny scrap of designer series paper. And this guy is, um, let's see, what is he? He is three fourths by two inches. And then I just took um, different pieces, so like white, and I did a quarter of an inch bigger all the way around. And then I was like, nope, I want it to have yellow. Let's see, that might be too big. Yeah, this one's too big. I don't like it that big. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to go wild. Let's see. Um, we are going to, I don't know, we're going to cut it. Oh, scary. Should probably get the trimmer out. All right. Pretty good. little corner. Yeah, pretty good. Okay. And we're just going to put it up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some dimensionals on these corners, right? And then use just adhesive right here. So again, our pieces of our edging. Like this. I'm going to use some. I guess I have to pull them off, right? Pull off the backing. Have you ever put something on a card and be like, how come it's not sticking? Because you forgot to peel the dimensionals off. Okay. Let's see. 
like this. You, here's the sample card. You guys tell me. Do you like it on the slant like this? Or would it be better down here? Because I could add another dimensional. Anybody have any? Uh, <laughs> Yolanda, many times. Thank you for, for making me feel like I'm not the only one. Thank you. Um, let's see, down here or slanted like this, like just a little crooked. I don't know. I think I kind of like this one down here. I'm not sure. Yep, we're going to do that, I think. Well, I wasted a little bit of adhesive, but that's all right. Put one in the metal for good, for good luck. Okay, here we go. We're gonna like that. Ooh, so pretty. And then um, we have bling, right? So yeah, we're gonna use some bling. Um, I'm looking for my picket tool. I think I packed it away. Okay, just gonna use our fingers like this. Ooh, we might use some yellow up here. That'll be good. There we go. There we go. All right, now the inside. I was kind of happy with my inside of the card. Um, so remember we use crumb cake. And we um, did the bottom to make it kind of look like sand. So in the stamp set is this stamp with the shells like this. So I just wrapped it around the bottom. So I went like this. So there's the bottom and then I have to look me okay I did so this whole stamp set works around the circle right so you have like sending you a thinking of you um, and then you can put in these words underneath it so you can kind of customize what you're what you're saying so I inked up the sending you a in the daffodil delight Oof. That's not going to work. I'm going to have to do something with that. Um, let's see. What can we do? I don't know what I can do. I'm going to go get a piece of scrap paper. So the very top, can you guys see that? The very top didn't um, stamp. I should be stamping on a foam mat, which I have here somewhere. Let me just get underneath all the paper. Okay. So what we're gonna do, let's try this again. We're gonna do, now I'm scared. We are going to make sure it's all nice and inked up. and we're going to stamp it and then we're going to take the thank you from the stamp set and ink that up in the azure afternoon i always want to say it backwards i always want to say afternoon azure but it's not azure afternoon okay we're going to ink this up stamp it under there and what we're going to do since i already have the bottom already done is we're just going to uh, punch this out. And if it wasn't for my inky fingers, we're going to put this just like so. Let's see, maybe we're going to go a step further <laughs> and we're going to ink up those shells again and see 
we're not going to do um, the whole thing. We'll just do, maybe we'll do like this. There. And I'm going to use seal. We're not popping it up, right, because it's the inside of a card. I mean, I guess you could pop it up. Have you ever popped up the inside of a card like this? All right. Close this guy up. And then we are done with this card. Uh, Lola says that it both look great. I agree on the lower part of, for this card. The lower part. Oh, yeah. Right down here. I know. I don't know why I didn't like it on the other card, but I like it on this card. I have no idea. It has to do, it must have to do with the way things colored out and stuff. So. And there is the, um, the inside. How cute. Look at it. And, I mean, it took me like, ooh, it's so bright and pretty. Hopefully you guys are getting the same image I am. Um, I will probably be doing a little wink of Stella on that guy. Just to make it pop a little bit. And hopefully you guys are inspired. And get some paper crafting in whenever you have time. Thank you very much, Yolanda. Um, I know it's so summery, huh? It's starting to get hot here. Well, you know, it's starting to get hot here. So um, summer is upon us. But uh, let's recap the sweet summer special, the product based crap um, class with Diana and myself. Uh, let's see designer series paper sale. And let me be big and the table small. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate it so, so much. Um, on Mondays, there may be a live video or it might be a recorded video. It just depends on the where I am. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your week, a lovely Monday, and I will talk to you guys all soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.